China has become attached to water since ancient times and built the Grand Canal with the help of nature and manual labour, blending water into life. The Grand Canal has travelled through millennia and connects north and southern China. As one of the greatest World Heritage Sites, it has sketched a magnificent view for economy, transportation and culture at home and abroad. The Grand Canal has also brought a bumper harvest of fish and rice, telling stories about all households with food, which can be rich and spicy or exquisite and innovative. Behind different delicacies, there is a folk wisdom transmitted to the canal. But what remains the same is the care of the family. Delicacies everywhere are connected because of the canal and convey the affection of families. Our story happens to be about the canal delicacies and home. Italian chef living in China. Away from home for years, I've brought delicacies to countless Chinese families. Today, I've got a special friend, Chen. My friend is the editor-in-chief of a food magazine. She invited me to experience food culture and family life along the canal. I accepted only too gladly and was ready to contribute to a column in her magazine. First, we had to do some research. After visiting experts on the history of the canal, our plan was finalised. The canal starts from Beijing, passes many provinces and ends in Hangzhou. We'll visit her relatives and explore delicacies from north to south. Her uncle, a chef in Taijuan, is well versed in the grace and dignity of Shandong cuisine. Her grandparents, who live in Huayang, entertain their guests with simple noodles. Her parents specialize in Huayang cuisine in Yangzhou, integrating the spirit of the canal into their dishes. Her cousin, food blogger in Hangzhou, has a new approach to presenting delicacies. They are all attached to fine food and the canal connects stories of an extended family. Our first stop is in the north. The northern part of the canal, which starts in Beijing, has a long and proud history. It has given rise to a rich and dignified food culture, the quintessence of which is found in Taijuang. The small town was born because of the canal. It has a lively water system that has nurtured the famous Shandong cuisine. Chen's uncle happens to be past master at Shandong cuisine. We meet our uncle in the morning and take our time to have breakfast by a tributary of the canal. Scallion wrapped in pancake and stuffed pancake are local specialities. The basic ingredient, the pancake, is a characteristic product of the canal, representing water transport or food grains. The world wrapped up in a thin pancake is a simple yet wonderful one. Cooked in different ways, it can be either stuffed pancake or scallion wrapped in pancake. An ordinary pancake becomes inclusive because of the canal. How is the canal related to the local delicacies? Chen's uncle goes back to work and we continue our tour of the ancient city. It is said that the Chenlong Emperor stayed here for a while during his journey to the south and that he praised Taijuang. 
then only a village as the best village in his empire. But instead of being superior, the city is alive with the bustle of the common people. It boasts a rich folk culture, with drummers, stilt walkers and Suona horn players, to name a few. We've also experienced the fun of folk culture. There are also fascinating folk snacks. Stone pancake is a famous delicacy on the canal. With special physical properties, stones by the canal can help to control the heat, which puffs up and shapes the dough. The canal has thus become a medium for baking. The place is imbued with a thick flavor of Han culture Chen put on a traditional hand Chinese clothing. We hung out along the ancient street and chanced upon a traditional game of throwing a silk ball for a spouse. I was lucky enough to catch the ball and mounted the gate tower. Dusk fell before we knew it. The glowing sunset indicates a feast. Here I learn how to cook Shandong cuisine from Chen's uncle. Carps from the canal area gift from the water. The ingredients are fresh thanks to the quality of the canal water. Aroma arises from simple cooking. Sauce adds the final touch to a savoury dish. Thanks to the ancient canal, materials from the land also contribute to the essence of Shandong cuisine. The typical Shandong dish, Zhao Chuang spicy chicken, originated from water transport. I've also tried cooking other dishes to feel the spirit of the canal. We lay a table of dishes by the canal, presenting various delicacies led by Shandong cuisine. Those in water, on land, vegetables and meat. With the development of the canal, fresh water inspires the pursuit of a better life. Chen's uncle sees the canal as his home, processing its products with homely skills to bring good taste to everyone. We bid farewell to Chen's uncle and to the ancient city full of charms and flavours. We take a pleasure boat and sail on the canal in the evening admiring the night view and watching the fiery dragon show, an intangible cultural heritage.